He had something in his hands, but I don't know what it was. Looked like a fucking... Looked like a longhorn, but there was no gun. From that moment, when I was yellow health, things would only get worse. This is a video of determination and the will to survive. I don't know why, but sometimes I get in this mood where I really, really want to survive and I care about the character. And this is exactly what happened. I got attached to the character and I wanted it to survive no matter what and no matter the circumstances. It literally felt like I couldn't catch a breath even for a moment. And this is exactly what drives me so much to play Daisy, Not PvP, which I absolutely love, but organic RP and survival. But anyway, if you're tired RPing in DayZ, you can always try to RP in one state. One state is the first ever open world online game with roleplay mode. And this is actually the first time I've seen something like this on the phone. Take a look at this. Come out and jump. Pull over now! There are hundreds of people on the map and thousands of people can play together at the same time. Hey! Yo, what's up, motherfucker? You can build your career as a policeman and lead a faction or just join a gang and lead a criminal lifestyle. Or you can be a hard worker slowly organizing your business and trading with other players. It all really depends on you. Also, the game is optimized for different types of devices so everyone can play comfortably. One State is absolutely free and does not have annoying ads like some other games. Download One State from the link in the description now and definitely give it a go. For the first players, I will leave my promo code as a gift. Thank you so much to One State for sponsoring this video. At this point, I was yellow health and I only had one bullet in the SKS. This is mine, bitch! Time was working against me. I was bleeding, so I had to finish this guy off as fast as I can. I have absolutely no idea why this guy decided not to kill me and go for the guy in the cabin. Maybe they had beef. Anyway, I use that moment to escape as far as I can, to try and catch a breath and patch my wounds. Not far away, there was a military base, which I decided to check, despite the danger, because I had nothing to defend myself with. The plan was to get a gun and go somewhere to recover my health.
This guy knew, bro. This guy knew. Right now, I was red flashing health and low blood. It was time to get the fuck out of there. I limped my way to a couple of houses where I thought it's gonna be safe. You might think this is cruel, but put yourself in my shoes. Red flashing health, low blood, I barely survived the shit show that happened a few minutes ago, and I really wanted to survive and keep this character alive. Namalsk, unlike Livonia or Cherneris, is a paradise for vultures. People don't seek friendships here. They seek for blood and easy loot. So everybody is a potential killer. I wasn't planning on leaving this house soon. I had to defrost food, there was an EMP storm going on, and my health was too low to try and go somewhere else. So I had to secure this house with everything I had against the unwanted guests. Until I get back to at least yellow health. After half an hour, I was finally back to yellow health. It was time to move on.
clever boy. I flanked all the way to the refugee camp and back towards the dam to see if I can spot the guy. Unfortunately, my shadow play corrupted that piece of adventure, so I had to download the clips from Twitch. But it's only temporary. Uh, gunnery's glitch again! <laughs> Fucking great. A hit. I don't even know if that was a hit or not. I have two cuts now. Perfect. Perfetto. Gepetto perfetto. What the fuck? He's got a bike out of ball. Nothing, man. a hit. Hey, ban the guy uh, whoever said wrecked in the chat, okay? Ban him. And here I was, once again, red flashing health and low blood. A very slow process of regenerating health and trying to stay alive is ahead of me again. I couldn't stay here after so many shots. I had to move and find a new location to start healing. What am I shooting at? I'm not bleeding. I'm not going up there. I'm not looting him. I found a tower with a little bit of cover made from sandbags and I had no choice but to stay here and make a fire. I was about to die from cold, starvation and dehydration. My movement was way too slow to find a safe place. So it was this or dying. I heard something. I don't know if that's the zombie. Son of a bitch.
That place was compromised. I quickly looted the guy and started heading southeast. I knew that 200 meters away was a little shed where I could seek shelter. Not long after I arrived in it, I spotted another threat. Two guys that heard my shots at the tower were checking out the shots. I don't like that at all. They're coming this way. I was in deep shit. Two geared players were heading straight towards me, and I was still on red health. I had to start running even more south, but those guys weren't my only problem. There was another EMP storm, and the nearest shelter was about one kilometer away. I wanted to go inside the truck, but my character accidentally jumped on the roof of it. And I thought, hey, this could actually be a good idea. What if there is a guy outside with an apsy? But I forgot about one important detail. This fucking building didn't have a roof. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, say what you think about it, and definitely consider a sub for more videos. Thank you so much for your attention, and I'll see you in the next one.